champions. We got another character preview. This time it is John Morrison, Johnny Drip Drip, five star silver, acrobat. We have a look at his coach ability at 15,000, yellow move starting MP reduced by three for your opponents, and link with raw and modern era, and it doesn't have any gear. Our first move set we'll have a look at is the Starship Pain. 11 MP blue move, finisher deals 90,000 damage and gains 6 purple MP. The European Uppercut, 7 MP purple move, deals 30.5k damage and choose a 4x1 area to make into Snowfall Gems, which will modify all gems below it into blue gems when broken by you. And the Standing Moonsault, 6 MP purple move, deal 15k damage and destroy row number 1. Pretty simple move set. You do the uppercut, you put it on the top row, you use the moon salt, you destroy the top row, it's gonna put blues everywhere. Loading your finisher, you use the finisher, which will load your purple moves. Rinse and repeat. Trainers for that, wood, so we start with more purple, although we will still need a match because I don't have the perks on. Uh, we will have uh, edge so that the blue gems do 35% more damage. You could use the new Sasha, although uh, the 35% at 5 star silver is actually 500 more per gem I checked. Uh, we're going to use Afa so that blue gems do 15% more damage. And I put in all of fame on Kitang Man here just so that the finisher does 20% more. Just so that it does a little more because i mean it is a finisher so it means that that's all we're going to do that turn and it ends the turn so now i do have a strap currently on johnny i actually re like just last week i switched my strap on montez so i had a, a free strap so that's actually going to show him much better than without a strap because obviously we're going to be fighting a guy that's all strapped up they got like 41% uh, gem reduction, 18% uh, move reduction. Now I don't have much reduction. I have 12 and 25 right there. I do have double fury on, but uh, that's about it as far as it goes. Gems are not optimal or anything because th those are just random gems I had laying, laying around. Let's do this. We're gonna need next turn. Just take away his blue, although we did give him purple, which he didn't go for. Still managed to get purple twice. Good god, he had a good turn there. Alright, now we're gonna lay our gems. Let's put them there, that way they're gonna connect to those two blue right here. Destroy the top row. Wow, no cascade whatsoever, alright. Well, he didn't kick out of it. <laughs> if he did, we would have used the finisher that would have reloaded the, the purple. Although, that basically... Oh, wow, that face looks fucked up. <laughs> the, so, uh, you do lose that turn because that's all you do. Alright, let's look at something else because I'm not a huge fan of this one. Let's. Uh, I think there's a much better one. All right, second move set. This looks kind of pretty good. It's gonna be the Springboard Roundhouse. One MP blue move deals 3,800 damage plus 16,200 bonus damage for every multiplied gem. Super Kick. One MP green move deal 3,000 damage and make four random gems into multiplied gems of strength five. And the Spear, 2 MP, blue move, deals 6700 damage, and choose a 2x2 two two area to destroy. Trainers we're going to use for that, Sincara, so that we're creating 4 extra multiplied gems. Demon Balor, so we create 1 extra 
a multiply gem and the multiply gem do 38% more damage which increases the bonus damage of the springboard right there we're using a uh, zombie taker so that again 5% more damage from multiply and we create a tent one and I'm using memrock so that again multiply do 5% extra and uh, we also have their strength increased by one making them strength six instead of five now the big damage here is not going to come from that strain it's more going to be from this move that's going to do damage based on how many there's on the board so he's less affected by those uh multiply reduce trainers because it doesn't really matter what's their strength it just matters that they're there we're gonna go versus triple h again Right. We're gonna lay or multiplies. Oh, we got a really good board for this right now. We'll use this. Now ideally you want two blues and one green. Is that way? Reload all your moves to do it another time. Unfortunately, we did have a six multiplier there that prevents us from doing it yet another time. But it still means that we got like 20 of them, well, 19 of them right now on the first turn. That just did 456,000. Now, I just want to take away his free turn right here. It's gonna be over next turn, probably. Put another batch. I dig 625,000. I mean, just for shits and giggles, we're gonna do it again. Because why not go overkill? Oh, actually, we won't. <laughs> we had a cascade that ended everything. Well, but as you can see, I didn't take damage. And uh, he sure did. And uh, that is pretty much, uh, it, it's it's not going to be affected by the multiplier reduce coaches because you don't actually care how much they are. You just care that they're there. So, all right, let's look at a last move set. All right, last move set, small variation of what we just tried. We're still going to be using the Springboard Roundhouse, 1 MP blue move, deal 3800 damage, plus 16.2k bonus damage for every multiply gems. The Super Kick, 1 MP green move, deals 3k damage and make 4 random gems into multiply gems of strength 5. And we're going to switch the last for the multiple forearms. 7 MP green move, deals 29,000 damage and choose 4 gems to make into blue gems. I'm not as much of a fan of this one as I was for the previous one, being that uh, with a 7 MP charge, you either got to have to put Steel, which would kind of defeat the rest of the moveset, or you hope to make a green match at some point. So, yeah. We're going to be using the exact same trainers we just tried, everything boosting toward that roundhouse, and uh, we'll see how it goes. do have a green match would be nice if there's a multiplier that lands on it or not let's do our damage
Put more multipliers. Do more damage. Let's take away his purple match. Make more multipliers. More burst of damage. Now there's quite a lot now. This can't really go farther than three turns, really. And now we'll finish this with the choose move. Which we can just choose a bunch of multipliers. Six hundred K after what he soaked. And it's over. So this works really well too. Although I do prefer the second one better because it costs no MP. So you can't get really get screwed by anything. And you can recycle multiple times a turn. So yeah, definitely a very strong character. Didn't seem like it with the first move set, but the last two definitely a very strong character again he's the chase this month we're going to be gathering shards to unlock him needs 2k shards to unlock him he's also at three star bronze i believe in the uh, milestone of the solo event thanks for watching guys if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys g up Ciao.